So, we had some bad news with some good news with some bad news mixed with some more good news. All being that, we got, we got the complete break set up, completely rebuilt um, last week. Um, but, we lost all breaks today. Um, as, as, the, as the little practice session, you might say, test one or the other. Uh, on the test day, only got out for one session and um, lost all breaks. But that oh, was funny because I was like, "Oh shit, that's that's a ditch." <laughs> so, um, problem being with the breaks is this little master cylinder was leaking, even after been rebuilt. So it was losing pressure. So we got a lend of one, luckily enough, and now we have so little travel in the pedal. That we actually have, there we go. That we actually have such a good break. It's unreal. So we've got breaks now, thank God. So we are actually buzzing for tomorrow. It's the first time that the breaks have worked properly, nearly since White River, um, back in April 17th. Buzzing. So now I'm going to go and uh, sign on and. Go shop, get some water. I haven't had a break today because I got here, cart out of the van as quick as I could, try and get it out, and then um, the brakes went. So I've been spending the last probably five hours trying to fix the brakes, but we got them. My like five hours is a bit of an extreme one now. Um, but yeah, at least we have it sorted. We're all good. We're ready to rock tomorrow. Just an awful pity about the weather. Miserable. Miserable. Buzzing. In the town for column. And there's David. So guys, here we have the morning test session for the transponder on the Sunday. All of the brake problems were happening on the Saturday and the test day. And also, a massive, massive thanks to Barry McCart and McCart Motorsport. Who, my lifesavers. They just persisted and persisted until we got the brakes working and with the help of John Foley from TMO Racing we uh, we got the we got the brakes working and um, throughout the day they weren't a hundred percent but I had brakes and um, that was the main thing we got home um, I got home we were safe that's the main thing so Let's try not to use that runoff anymore, but there is a little bit of an incident on the next time we come around that corner. There goes Simon Bolton. Um, Simon done wicked all weekend. It was a great weekend for racing, and the Saturday was terrible, terrible weather. Miserable. And um, to Sunday, like as you can see, the skies are a bit grey there, but it's ever so slightly, and we didn't have any rain on the Sunday, which was great. Uh, it was a good dry race all day for everybody, so buzzing that's it. It's just cracking. It's a very fast track now in the practice and for heat one and two. I don't think uh, well heat one say Let's look at it instead, that's what I got to do. Look at it. We're flat to the pan. We tried to throw it in. It doesn't go and he bounces off. <laughs> look at the tires lads, they weren't flying. Oh Jesus! Stop there as if nothing happened. Oh, I'm just waiting on a mate, man. Yeah, I'm just waiting on a mate. And there's the boys away, like two gazelles. And there we have Column Dowling sitting in front of us, the rookie, the newbie. Oh lads, the peddler. He can go into a big bag of sand or stone, keep the foot in, and keep. On trucking. Oh man. Chaps are lunatic. Fair play to him. Can't beat that clean racing. Oh jeez. So as in heat one, I don't really uh, do my lines overly great. Um, I get better as the day goes on. There we go, Colin. Come on, you mad thing. Number 83 in the Miami. So in heat one and heat two, the X30s were out with us. Uh, oh, you ran a bit white. Who do you think you are, me? Um, so, Heat 1 and Heat 2, we got the X30s out on track with us in their own separate race. 
they were on to the last lap and then into the final that we uh, they managed to get get their own final don't think you can really hear but look at that front bumper just hanging on there that little love tip into that tire wall that is as I hit that at some speed felt every bit of it and we're on to the home straight well the long straight back straight I don't even go across the line lads I was just happy enough to get home and I spent yeah and actually as well as this the battery just dies yeah go kart that's a right cunt is right buddy brakes weren't great your man here looking at it. it's everything all good we're just fixing the bumper clips and the screw now is just looking at uh, making sure nothing was damaged happy enough because he didn't say anything but yeah my we charged the battery on the Saturday night lads and I didn't push the power button oh be the god be the dead battery but fair play to Colum uh, brought his generator and all with him so we um, we got our going again anyway with a full battery charge or do I have a battery here? Oh, I do I do I do it was in heat one and two maybe that I didn't have a battery and there's Michael on front of us Michael Wilson poor chap there's Colin in the black suit with the white helmet in front of Michael cracking driver He's too fast, he needs to, he needs to slow down for me. And Simon there, and I, boys are just rockets. But uh, Michael Wilson there, lads, had an awful bad doing in he too. He broke his ribs. So uh, that's that for the test. Stay tuned. We will have the final heat one and two up in the next little while. Hopefully today. Uh, just minding a baby and life oh lads let's go